What is up, bros, and welcome back to another Insane Tricks video where we officially brought back purple tarps for the best angle to ever exist on Coastline, an entirely new double vault concept that works in dozens of crazy brand new spots that players have never seen before, and of course, an Azami Kiba barrier math trick to get into a spot that's going to make your enemies cry. I'm going to go over a ton of the new double vault trick spots first, but make sure you stick around till the end because that's where I put purple tarps, a couple new lines of sight, and and of course that crazy Azami spot on Oregon. If you do find yourself liking this video and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because if you don't like my next upload, then you can always undo that. There is a new method to get a double vault prompt that allows players to get into some of the most insane new spots. This method was found by my friends Ozzy Otter and a gaming gamer, so huge shout out to you guys. And the method is so simple, you just place a shield a couple inches away from an object. Make sure the shield is not right up against the object, otherwise your friend's not going to have a vault prompt. You're then going to have your friend line up a vault prompt from the side of the shield, and then the person simply picks the shield up, and then the friend is going to vault on top after they start to pick the shield up. The player with the shield will put it in their pocket while the vaulting player will then finish the animation of the vault and then be elevated enough to get another vault prompt again if they're next to the correct surface. This works on every single map and we even tested it with multiple pings and were successful. This spot and connector on Nighthaven is just a taste at what we have in this video, so I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this new trick. Every once in a while, the vault prompt is gonna be like tweaking out and twitching all over the place sometimes your friend might have to place the shield a little bit further away or sometimes you can crouch move to the back of the shield and it'll stabilize now while a couple more of my favorite crazy spots around the game play out i do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video turtle beach and rocket who i've been working with and using their products for for over two years now they make some of the best gaming gear for any system with everything from controllers headsets and of course the best keyboards on the market that have survived all 2.6 million vault button mashes while i was making just this video like i don't even think that's an exaggeration at this point so if you'd like to check out any of their products click the link down below in the description and don't forget to use code broad to save 10% across their entire product lineup. At the top of CC stairs on the north side of Nighthaven, you can use the new vault method to get a friend or yourself inside of the planters. And if you go prone or even just simply crouching, you are crazy well hidden. I've successfully just stood in this west corner before and had people walk past me, so you can only imagine how well this is gonna work if you're up inside of a bush. Getting on top of the crane in Warehouse on Nighthaven Labs is officially back with the new vault trick. You simply vault up and then you're going to run forward and stop running. After that, turn south, run onto the wall, and then you're going to slide all the way to the crane. I actually haven't really tested the zombie vaults into that west planter over the edge again. I'm guessing that still works though, so maybe in the next video I'll update you guys. Every once in a while, to get into the really crazy spots, there is a specific lineup that you are going to need to place your shield for. This one at the top of lobby stairs is one of those, but don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it perfectly. But basically, you're going to be able to get on top of lobby stairs inside of the plants yet again. From there, you have a crazy view onto the door entry from the north side. Literally, nobody expects you to be like Call of Duty head glitching over this. This is not an area that uh, players are used to fighting. So yeah, you could potentially get a lot of free kills here. The lineup for the shield placement is to tuck yourself in the northwest corner. You're going to be tucked in by the pillar. After that, you're going to pull your shield up, put your crosshair right on that vertical line on the wall, and hold the deploy button while you crouch walk forward. Once you're allowed to place the shield, that's the perfect placement. You can just follow the normal shield steps. So your friend is gonna tell you when he has the vault prompt, you're gonna pick it up and then he's gonna vault and then run forward, stop running. He's gonna land on the edge. From there, you can simply run into the planters. Your location has been compromised. A really simple but really affected one is down in Animus, down in the basement. This is the single wall that goes outside you can reinforce. Just simply standing on the counter, you can kind of Call of Duty head glitch over the edge and even see people coming down from that west side. Again, it's just one of those off angles. It's going to get you the first shot, though as long as you're relatively accurate, you should be able to get the kill. This is another really easy one. It's just simply getting on top of the glass in exosuit. You can also do this with a specific Azami barrier lineup, but why waste an Azami barrier for this one? A ton of drones are gonna come flying down past you. Nobody expects somebody to be up in this corner. It's a really, really awkward angle.
Now you guys probably remember the focal point of my previous video, literally the thumbnail, is this new spot on top of the dresser in tea room on skyscraper. Guess what? The vault prompt now works. You don't even need to do that Azami trigonometry to get on top of the vase and get a vault prompt. I, I think Ubisoft might be working on a way to patch the vase. Uh, but here's a second method already, you know, now there's two methods to get on top of the dresser in tea room. It's really crazy. Again, I just want to emphasize, make sure that shield is a couple inches away from the surface, or in this case, the dresser. If you're placing that shield right up against the object, your friend's not going to have an option to get the vault prompt. Once the shield has a couple inches gap of the surface, then they're going to get the vault prompt. Another spot that has now successfully been unpatched is the one in Geisha to get on top of those random boxes. Again, there was an Azami lineup, but now we don't even need to use barriers to get up here. Just do the shield trick. Your friend's still gonna have their shield in their pocket. It takes five seconds, literally, it's insane. Now, this is the craziest spot for theme park. By looking at the corner of the plywood in the bathroom, you can vault up on top of the shield, look straight at that corner, and then that's what's gonna unlock that second vault prompt for you. Have you ever shot a defender up here? Yeah, no, I don't think your crosshairs are gonna be up here. So watch out for this one. That's gonna be a free kill for someone. This is just a really simple spot in maintenance. I included this one because I think this would be absolutely perfect for Cav, especially when people are defending throne. This is a funny, really easy spot to do in server room. And a fun fact about this is that with the shield trick, you can actually have two, even three friends do it at the exact same time. Watch this right here. Three of us are gonna vault up at the exact same time. So, if the surface is big enough to land on, it's a good thing to keep in mind if you want to hide with your boys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Moving on to border, we're going to be able to get on top of the locker again in Armory Lockers. This is the one that overlooks the entirety of North Balcony, and you can shoot through this soft wall. It's really crazy. Honestly, you don't even need to stay up here for crazy angles. If you want to just go up there, put an evil eye or other gadgets, you can totally do that too. The most complicated trick with this new shield method is this one in Armory Lockers. You're gonna vault up and then you're gonna do a 180. Run onto the corner where there's a blue and red bomb. From there, you kind of elevate on the left and then you're gonna run around the bomb and then kind of look quickly left and right and you can get up on top of the lockers and the suitcase. One of the craziest spots, also one of the most difficult though, so I do recommend practicing this one in a custom game before you full commit into ranked. The other tip is for your friend who's placing the shield and try to get relatively close to the shield because the shorter distance between the corner of the bomb that you run onto and the shield vault, the easier it is to land on the chassis. In supply room, you can also now get onto those middle shells. Another funny spot for an evil eye. You're probably gonna die up here, but it's fun. Inside of the waiting room, you can now get up on top of this vending machine, which is really funny because right after border was reworked, people were getting up here with other methods, but using this simple method, you can do it again. Moving over to Chalet, there's a couple cool bookshelves that you can get onto, and if your boy Roy is standing on the default cam, you might not want to do this because it is in front of the master window, but if anyone is anywhere else, it's a really, really cool angle. The other cool shelf that you can get onto is on top of the mezzanine and this one's really funny because you can go for spawn peaks because you can actually hit attackers as they vault up the cliffside spawn. Normally attackers don't have to worry about it until they walk a little bit more forward and peek it but this way you can kill them really really early. This is the second most complicated spot that we have using the new shield method. You're gonna have to throw a barrier towards the bottom right side in front of that barrel and then you're gonna do the shield trick onto the corner. From there, you're gonna inch your way slightly east, slightly north, and then you're gonna look at the barrier and get a ball prompt. Once you're up here, it's really dark corner, you're really well hidden, and you just happen to have angles all the way out past the snowmobile if somebody opens up the east side of the garage. 
Gustus thought of this really cool spot to get on top of the trash cans in the northeast corner in Kitchen Cooking on Cafe. And this angle goes through prep and it's a really, really off angle because it goes over those prep counters and it is not an angle that is normal for crosshairs. You already know, we're gonna have some crazy cursed things on Outback. The first one is gonna be in office supplies. Make sure you don't fall behind the vertical table because if you fall back there, you are gonna get stuck. This one is crazy too though, because if you break the top of the wall, you can see attackers that are vaulting up onto the balcony. In garage lounge, you can use the new shield vault to get up on top of the lockers and then literally stand over the window and watch people coming in. You can also shoot down the stairs and just have overall crazy angles in the garage. Down the mechanic shop, you can get on top of the machinery in the northeast corner. Really, really simple one. Moving over to layer, we're down in the basement in stock room and you can do the shield method and then just run onto the shelf to have an angle that even goes outside of this door. This one's really good because when you are defending in the basement, there's a bomb right next to you in two rooms. If an attacker decides to enter from here, they're gonna get fried. Over on Emerald Plains, we have a similar angle that overwatches a really common entry door. This one's over in Archives. If anyone chooses to enter the Archives door or enter the Archives window, again, they're gonna get fried. Probably the third most complicated new shield vault trick is gonna be on Bank, and it's for unlocking the old banana spawn peak because we are gonna be getting on top of the railing yet again. This time you're gonna have a friend place a shield and then you're gonna vault on top of the metal detector. From there, you're gonna have to do a quick walk onto the railing and then you're gonna have to do a quick sprint around the pillar. Not gonna lie, I failed quite a few times first trying it, but once you have like that muscle memory down of, of sprint let go looking quickly, you're gonna be able to land it quite a bit. This spawn goes really, really close. It's just north of that sewer spawn. If you weren't able to do this before getting on top of the banana railing was patched, it's a really fun one to go for. On Coastline, we have the return of purple tarps and it feels like it's been a couple years since the last one. So this one feels really good. And honestly, it's one of the easiest methods that has ever existed. Shout out to Ozzy Otter for teaching me the perfected lineup here. And you are gonna need a Osa shield, but Osa is a great op anyways, so it all works well. All you need to do is push yourself into this double pipe on the northeast side of the roof look slightly right of west onto this electrical box and then deploy the osa shield once you do osa will be pushed slightly to the left and then the shield will be placed and then you're going to be able to get the vault prompt when you look northwest over the corner of the shield and onto the pipe from there you're free to vault over drop on top of the cabana roof and have the infamous angle through the default rotate and hookah and because this is so easy to do, you can even still parkour down onto the roof on the east and have all those crazy angles in the penthouse. And yes, you even can still vault through the penthouse window. It's definitely easiest with a three speed, but it can be done with Osa also if you practice the timing. Another cool trick with Osa is that you can stand on top of the curb on the side of this white van, sprint at the hood and get a vault prompt. After getting on the roof of the white van, you can stand in the third section, push yourself into the southwest corner, then turn around, look east at the concrete pillar by the gate. You're going to then hold your Osa shield out and then go left until you can deploy it. Once the shield is deployed, you can go prone in that same corner and then simply stand up while walking south and you can get on top of that roof that has a ton of angles in the penthouse. Once you're up here, you can even go and place your second Osa shield and then just fight all the people that are ego peeking you wondering how you got up there. If you shoot out a hole on the bottom of the left vertical line on the wall connecting stage and stock, you can then prone behind the tables, which just happen to be bulletproof, and have this invisible angle onto anyone coming into stock. The angle is so hard to see, even if somebody is ADSing on you with a scope, you are gonna have the jump on them and take their face off. In the dining hall on Oregon, you can break the two beer boxes on the north wall and then prone where they were for a crazy angle through two tables. You're gonna be looking under the first one and then through the V shape of the second one. This angle goes out of the window into junkyard and anyone that crosses or peeks the window is gonna get a bullet in the forehead from an invisible dude under a table.
In Attic on Oregon, you can actually get on top of the lights to surprise the crap out of attackers that push Big Tower. You're gonna need two Kiba barriers, and the first one is placed at crouch level in the center of the blue box right at the same level as the bottom of the windowsill. Now you can get on the wood, crouch, and look at the barrier for a vault prompt. Once you're on top of that blue box, you will need to line up your crosshair with the dark spot on the top of the Kiba barrier, look down about a third of the way, and then throw the second one. Once you throw it correctly, you can simply vault on top of the light, destroy the barrier so there's no evidence, and then have the ultimate Batman drop spot. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's about it for this one. So I'll see you all next one. Love you all. Peace.